Hey Jules Bliss Vegan and as always welcome to my channel and for those who are new I know you can benefit. So I was kind of thinking about whether or not the devil can answer prayers and I know that's kind of a funny idea um, because I know that I'm a God person and and the reason I even think about it is because kind of a little sneaky thing Sneaky things happen. I'm one of those people where all prayer is answered, and that's true for everybody. God does answer everybody's prayer. Not necessarily how you want or, or how quickly you may want. I'm still waiting on a job, right? Um, but he does ultimately answer prayers. But I was thinking, I wonder if this prayer was answered by God. <laughs> and what it was, was that I was obsessing about a certain food. I did not have any of my uh, glass stones with me from my urge jar. And I was ill-prepared um, really to succeed in the way that I prefer because I hadn't grocery shopped. I didn't have greens. There was like a lot of temptations going on. And I was sitting there obsessing in my classroom about a certain food. I'm not going to provoke anybody by mentioning it. But I went through the whole gamut of thoughts and I was like, you know, can I get that on my way home on the dark mile, which is when I reference this 10 mile strip I have to drive down that pumps out every fast food you can imagine. Um, I, I was like, you know, can I get that on my way home? And then I was like, well, my husband's picking me up because I forgot he was doing the tires on my car. And I was like, okay, and then how else can I get it? I mean, can I go, you know, like I was just crazy. Can I walk across the street at lunch? Which I never, ever do. I mean, this was desperation. And then I was like, oh no, I don't have money because my wallet's in my car. My husband has my car. And can I borrow from a friend? I could ask one of the other teachers for money. I'm sure they'd lend it to me. I, and then I'll have to figure out how I can pay them back before school. I was crazed. Okay, so... God, of course, in telling me that you don't have access to your car, you don't have access to your wallet, uh, there's no way you're going to purchase that on your way home with your husband. Um, so essentially, you're safe because you can't act on that, let it go. And I was like, okay, <laughs> okay, Father, thank you. So just as I'm surrendering, and realizing there's no way I'm going to get this particular food. Uh, one of my students, who was completely tardy, like an hour and a half in, suddenly walks in with that exact food. And plenty for the teacher. Oh yeah, enough for every kid and the teacher. And I just thought, I don't think that's God answering my prayer. <laughs> So I was like, can the devil answer my prayer? It turns out that there are a ton of videos on that, but I'm attaching one that's less than two minutes long. And what I thought was important about it, it was like if you're trying to determine whether something's from God or if it's just a, another trick and temptation from the devil who loves to lead us away from God, um, there's kind of three specific ways to check. So one of them is to know whether what, has transpired what that seeming answer was is aligned with scripture or not does it match scripture and then another one is if indeed it's from god it's probably designed to lead people to god and will this action lead people to god and then lastly it's um in proverbs chapter 11 verse 14 it talks about the importance of having counselors in your life so other God-fearing, prayerful people who can serve as wisdom for you to kind of weigh it with, to be able to say, I think this is from God. Does this seem reasonable or not reasonable? And I assure you, uh, that food showing up in my classroom after God has specifically said that will not serve you in any way was not from God. And also, um, had I chosen to participate in that, it just would have devastated those little children who are trying so hard to be on board with me being well, with me being vegan, with me living properly. Like that's been my testimonial to them for months. And for me to participate in that food, 
that was the devil. That was completely the devil. <laughs> so I thought that was interesting. Uh, but with that, another thing that I struggle with all the time is, does it really matter what I choose to eat? Does God care what I choose to eat? What I know about God is that he provided an abundance of healthy, delicious food. And we have depleted soil and and of course, so much of our food now has become packaged toys and it's not what he originally designed, but the joy of really delicious, um, fresh fruit, you know, uh, a healthy chopped up, you know, fantastic salad, which inevitably is full of fruit, <laughs> even though we, we refer to those things as vegetables, but you know, when we have cucumbers, anything with seeds, a salad um, is actually fruit, right? So even an avocado, cucumbers, bell peppers, tomatoes, you know, we, we throw those into a vegetable category, but they're all fruit. And they are so delicious. And so God loves that. But mostly the reason he brings us together is to form community. It's an opportunity to eat together. And luckily, as I've been consistent, my husband used to pout all the time. Well, you're not even going to eat that with me, so screw it, because I'm not going to eat either. And now he's just like, get your food. <laughs> get your food. And, and you know, we can eat together. And usually he'll say, honey, can you start chopping your salad like a couple hours early so that we can actually be ready for dinner at the same time? <laughs> because, you know, his stuff cut, boil, chop, fry, whatever, it's done in about, you know, eight to 20 minutes. And just chopping up my salad can take me a half hour. <laughs> so anyway, it's just interesting. I never really pondered whether a prayer could be answered by the devil, but it turns out um, he doesn't have the ability to read our minds. But what we speak aloud is fair game. And sometimes he will simply get permission from God to challenge us much like Job and that whole nightmare. <laughs> Poor Job. Anyway, that's it. I'm exhausted, but I'm better. I hope I seem a little livelier today. My eyes might be a little less bloodshot. Not really. I am exhausted, people. I am going to sleep. I'm going to sleep in tomorrow. Praise the Lord. Maybe. Sometimes I don't have the grace, but I'm going to try. <laughs> and it's not even 10 o'clock, is it? Uh, 10 to 10. I'm going to finish this video and I am going to bed. What do you think of that? Anyway, like if you like, join us. If you haven't, let me know if you think El Diablo has answered some prayers for you under the guise of being God. Again, what were those things? One, it has to align with scripture. Two, it's got to lead people to God. And three, use counselors for wisdom. I can be one of those counselors for you. I have an amazing ability to decipher where that action's coming from. Um, but, you know, physician, heal thyself. I can't always see it for myself. But mostly, God tugs at my heart until I get it. All right, my friends, until we talk again, be blessed.